All right. Hey, everybody. My name is Lauren Paul. I am the owner of LA Marketing and Productions. It is a branch off of our Lauren Paul photography business. Um, all week this week and next, we're going to be interviewing some small business owners from um, Tulsa. And we are so excited to start off with um, Kendall and Avery Dykes. They're the owners of D6 Roofing. So you guys take it away. Tell us about D6. Hey, Lauren. Yeah, D6 uh, Roofing Company is a... Uh, <laughs> D6 Roofing Company is a uh, exterior storm restoration company. Obviously, we specialize in roofing. Um, we also do siding and windows. We've been in business uh, since 2011. Uh, we did a brand change in 2017 with Avery's idea. We switched over to D6. Uh, D6 stands for our last name, Dykes, and then there's six of us, and it also stands for Deuteronomy 6. Um, it's a good verse. You should, a good, good uh, chapter in the Bible. You should, uh, you should read it a chance. Um, yeah, so we came about, and uh, we, since 2017, we've been growing and growing and growing. Yeah, awesome. and you serve, you serve people, you work with people in Tulsa, and then you also have... Um, what, what are some of the cities where you guys? So, um, we work in the Tulsa metro area and we also have an office in Oklahoma City. Um, we service Norman Edmond, Oklahoma City, and then all the outlying areas in Tulsa, Grand Lake, all those areas. Wide, um, larger areas. Okay, so as a small business owner, tell me some of your personal pros and cons. Uh, the pros would be, you know, obviously flexibility, being able to, you know, chase after your aspirations and your dreams, um, as long as, as well as, um, uh, provide value and, uh, customer service to your, your clients. Uh, you know, that's the most rewarding is even though it's a for profit business, there's a lot of good, uh, wonderful, um, things you can give back to people and uh, we've been, had the privilege to do that and it's been very rewarding. Uh, some of the cons, um, this area, th this industry is very, um, very saturated and um, it's, it's very easy to be a roofer in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Very complex uh, um, route to get there. So uh, that being said, there's all different walks of life that get in this industry, some good, some bad, and it can give, uh, uh, based on some of people's previous experiences with roofing companies, it can put a bad taste in their mouths. Uh, so differentiating yourself um, is very easy uh, in this line of work if you're a good human being and uh, have good ethics and morals. So that, you know, has attributed to a lot of our success. Um, but one of the cons of just being it's very saturated and it's feast or famine and you know there's like 3,500 roofers just in the Tulsa area alone so wow very That's saturated okay so husband and wife team the dream team <laughs> dream team <laughs> tell us about it how do you survive <laughs> well at first uh, she was a huge supporter um, and getting in the business and then as this business grew you know I got to the point where I needed help so she has gotten involved uh, been lots of hiccups and bumps uh, there's not a book on how to do this yeah. uh, and we've had to I've had to tell her that and tell myself that you know we're figuring it out as we go um, the most important uh, the most difficult thing is balance uh, which uh, you know if you're a small business owner everyone has experienced that um, but when you have four kids, a business, and then also uh, me and my staff were all full-time firefighters as well. And so juggling all that's very, very difficult. But with your spouse involved and kids, it does, uh, you got to both uh, want it. You got to both support each other and, um, you know, do the best you can with the time that you have to produce results. Is, yeah. yeah. Communication is key. Yeah, communication That's is key. That's what we've learned. <laughs> and it's, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. It's hard with everything else going on. To remember a lot well, of things. So. And I think all small business owners, um, small and large business owners, can uh, testify to the fact that we are 
constantly going, constantly thinking, your phone is constantly ringing. So I agree with just finding the balance and setting aside strict time for each other and strict time for the kids and for yourself. It's hard, but I think it's very important. So, okay. So what's up next for D6? Where do you guys, what are your goals? What are, what are, what's coming up next? Um, goals, just keep doing what we're doing. Um, there is in this industry, you can't, uh, stay small for long if you're good. So we're trying to adapt to the growth and the changes. Um, just have better infrastructure uh, in the company to better service um, our clients as well as you know streamline the process and take some take some weight off our shoulders. That's going to be the big big goals. Uh, we have great uh, staff, great personnel working for us. Uh, we've made a lot of changes with our software systems and advertising. So um, just keep doing what we're doing and just uh, we're gonna, the big thing in this industry is always adapting to your clients and it is a retail market. So you have to be very visible. So always trying to stay up to date with that is, is a big goal of ours. Stay awesome. relevant. Well, and I know springtime is a busy time for you guys. So it's like, Ready or not, here we go. <laughs> Buckle up, because it's spring in Oklahoma. <laughs> spring in Oklahoma. So, okay, guys, well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Yeah.